This year, many states have considered and in some cases enacted state laws that specifically target transgender students and in particular by preventing them from using the restrooms that correspond with their gender identity. According to Glisson's 2013 National School Climate Survey, transgender students face discrimination and harassment in school and 75 percent of those who participated in the study say they feel unsafe at school. Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum and joining me is Nathan Smith, the Director of Public Policy for GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian and Straight Education Network. Nathan, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, what I said a few moments ago is very, very unfortunate. Um, why is that the case in 2016? Why are we still talking about this in 2016? Yeah, you know, I think the issue has come up uh, as a result of the Obama administration moving in the direction of protecting transgender students um, and making sure that they have access to restrooms and locker rooms that correspond with their gender identity. One of the things that we've seen is that for several years the administration has said transgender students are protected under Title IX, which is the federal law that protects on the basis of sex in schools. Um, but they just released guidance uh, that just came out a month ago uh, that they sent to all school districts across the country clarifying what that actually means and what those districts need to do, do to be in compliance with Title IX. Nathan, I think a lot of parents out there and maybe even some grandparents and aunts and uncles probably will say, well, wait a minute, what, what do you mean by uh, gender identity? Uh, what about how this person was born? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a very elementary question, but a lot of people have those questions. What does that mean? I think that's right. So, so when we talk about transgender students, we're talking about students whose gender identity or the way that they identify, the way that they feel. They self-identify. That's right. Uh, the way that, that uh, we talk about how that corresponds to their sex assigned at birth. Um, so for, for most of us, for uh, the term is cisgender people, uh, our sex assigned at birth corresponds to the gender that we identify as. Um, some people don't feel comfortable with that, uh, and so they are transgender. They, identif they identify as a gender that is different than their sex assigned at birth. And what is the next frontier uh, when it comes to raising the awareness about this? Is it Hollywood? Uh, is it schools? Is it uh, universities? Is it the president, whomever he or she may be? How do we change the, the conversation here? Well, I think that's actually a great question. I think that the legal landscape right now is really where things are at. So we're not really out of this, uh, out of the woods here until and able to move on until we kind of get some of this settled. So uh, the administration just released guidance. There are lawsuits that are challenging that guidance currently uh, led by Texas. There are 12 states that are challenging. Uh, and so I think it's, you know, it's uh, trying to figure out that legal landscape first and work through the court system until we're able to sort of get to that. That next front. Nathan, do you believe, speaking of the court system, that it will rise to the Supreme Court at some point? I think it very well could. Um, you know, we, we have seen a circuit court that has ruled in favor of the administration, uh, and then we, have, uh, of course, we have a number of lawsuits that are happening in other circuits. So if we do see, end up seeing a split in the circuit courts, uh, I could see where it would end up in the Supreme Court. And do you think that is something that will happen, let's say, within the next five or ten years, if not sooner? Oh, I think so, right. I think that this issue is becoming something that needs clarity very quickly. Uh, and that courts are eager to take up as soon as possible. Are they? Uh, and that over the next, probably the next several years, we should see this properly play out. And I want to go back for a second. You mentioned that courts are eager to take this up. Is that because there's so much ambiguity uh, in the workforce as well as in schools and so forth? I think that's right. And, and it's also something that people are asking for, right? So one of the things that I think led to the release of the administration's guidance around this issue was that school principals, uh, school leaders, school board members have been asking for this guidance and looking for some clarity around uh, their obligations under Title IX to protect transgender students. And so I think that making sure that we get to a point where this is resolved quickly is uh, important and something that uh, the administration and that the judicial branch is looking to do. Nathan, I noticed that in newer buildings, whether it's an airport or any building for that matter, uh, most of the restrooms now just are gender neutral, just says restroom. And so therefore it's open to whomever, whenever. Um, is, that the, is that the safe space where to, where to take this or is it more nuanced than that? It's more nuanced than that. And I think one of the things that we've seen is that Title IX uh, as a law allows schools to have individual restrooms for boys and girls. Um, and just to clarify, really it's not just, you're right, it's just not restrooms though, it's locker rooms and, and some other things. Sure, right, absolutely. School facilities, Correct. sex segregated full school facilities. Correct. Um, and, you know, I think the, the law certainly allows for that. This is really just about clarifying that it should be based on someone's gender identity and not the, their sex that was assigned at birth, uh, if that happens to be different in these cases. Nathan Smith, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day.
today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.